this individual tomato phalanges. Very special person to me because I believe they are, I think they were sort of my in as far as like meeting a lot of people in the Australian Kaizo scene when I was just getting started streaming about, what, five, five months ago, something like that. Um, and it looks like they only have one submission, which is this hack. They've been working on it for a little while, been teasing some things here and there, and it's here. And so I don't know too much about it. I saw the Purple Eagle playing a level. Um, I apparently was quite far in. It had wall jumps and it looked kind of intense. Now, people have said that it's pretty cool because it does have this kind of hybrid standard Kaizo sort of situation. So newcomers can do stuff, but seasoned veterans may also be provided a challenge. How many exits? 23 exits. It's probably important to, to note the 23 exit situation. A moon in every level. There's 25 hidden portrait rooms, so there's more than one per level. I mean, if I if I come across something that looks sus, I'll check it out, but yeah, we'll see. You know, not that many screenshots. It doesn't tell me too much, but maybe that's a good thing. It does say something about uh, secrets. We'll have a look. And only Alex GG has played it. Seems good. Load it up, have a look. Tomato presents. Hmm. Okay. This is a title screen. What I just want to point out though, just, you know, as a, as a little tiny thing, I, I know that people that play on emulators and like LCD panels and stuff like to use all of the screen and have their pixels and stuff all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully, I don't see that though, okay? Playing on a CRT, you kind of line up for a specific kind of amount of overscan. I don't, like what you're seeing right now on the stream is very similar to what I see on my display. So there's a little tiny bit of cutoff, but we can kind of see what it means. So I've got the option to underscan, um, but yeah, 2021 version 1.0 is what that says. Polyphony by Tomato Phalanges. Let's have a look. <laughs> All right. All right, we have a cut scene. It's good to see you was. The Polyphonic Isles, once a land of peace. Now the twin thrones are vacant, held only by Bowser's pets as he moves on to further conquests. The lore. People like that. Club Shoujo. Tap A or B to dance. All right. Well, there's a pipe there, huh? What does that mean? There we go. We have found one of the 25 portrait rooms. Imagine that. Very good. So I guess we have to exit off the side of the screen. <laughs> warm up, Chuck Gate warm up. All right, at the first real level, Grizzly Hills, I believe. I wonder if there's a lot of references to Australian players. This would probably be Grizzly Gaming 86. Grizzly Hills. Imagine references that I understand. Okay, this is looking cool so far. Looks a little bit vanilla. It's not too bad. So it's kind of, we start out just playing some standard stuff. I've never done that. Never, never bothered with that. Maybe one day. Uh, every level in this hack has a moon. Some moons will be just a little challenge to get, while others may lead to something special? Question mark? Okay, well, don't think there's anything to see there. Was that the moon? I think I just got three ups. Three ups. <laughs> All right. And a checkpoint. Did you not say you were going to go back and play? I did say I was going to go back and play vanilla SMW at some point. Um, well, who would want to go up there? That's a bad idea. Uh, oh, a pipe. Hey, there he is. I believe that's a grizzly gaming. 
situation there. Could be wrong. I don't know everyone's emotes particularly well. Oh, what? There's a <laughs> Imagine having a timer that matters. Oh, dude. Huh. A P switch. Uh, hmm. Wonder how fast I have to go. Hmm. <laughs> imagine, um, imagine me calling this standard and that it's kind of no stress, but then immediately dying when there's actually something going on. I think this is, uh, this is a good warm up. We'll call it that. We'll take, uh, we can't really, we'll take this guy. Nope, we won't take that guy. We'll take this guy. We'll smash him into that one. Oh, that's the end. Okay. Easy. Totally easy. I didn't die a bunch of times there. That's fine. <laughs> it's looking mighty chill. It is. This is Kaizo. It's, it's standard slash Kaizo. It's a hybrid hack. Catnip Canyon. You know, maybe like Super Nothing World. I don't know if you played that one. But that's got, um, that's got like three different routes for different difficulties. And you play them all. It was pretty cool. I actually found the Kaizo one to be not the hard, the hardest of the routes, by the way. I think the platforming one was hard. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Alright, well, we just hold down, do we? <laughs> Alright, one of these. There we go. Oh, there was something up there. I saw a thing. Maybe we'll have to come back for that one. Who knows? Got him! What was this one called? I forget the name of this level. <laughs> but, um, look at this, look at this fella. So that's... how many portraits? We've seen like three so far, I guess. Ooh, a springboard. I wonder if... can you go back? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. That can happen. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well. Mushroom. We probably get to keep power-ups, right? I wonder. Something to think about. And there is, a, is there a secret? There is a secret exit there. Could be wrong, but then there seems like... I don't know if I can make the jump that's directly... P-speed is required. Why is this... Why is this here? Oh. Oh. Well, it turns out I'm possibly bad at the game, but it worked out. Oh. You go in the places where the coins are. Understood. Okay, so what are these for then? Oh, they, that looked kind of weird when I scrolled the screen up a bit. Oh, uh, well, hmm. Guess we're going back to find the other grab block. One, two pipes. One, two. Oh, something. Imagine standard platforming, huh? Is there anything up there, or is that just a spot where you die? Who knows? Oh, a pipe. 
There is a person. So that's another one of those uh, aforementioned portrait rooms that we've heard so much about. Okay, the third one's there. Got it. We got the fast smash. Hmm. And wait, what, what was the point of that? Hey, we got the mushroom parade. Oh, there's a there's a coin there. All right, got it. Oh, I wonder if you can get a shortcut up there using a no. You might be able to shell jump up there. Now I'm thinking about it. A key, but where does the key go? Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a different level. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wishy washy river. Why did it go left? That doesn't happen. Oh, a moon. Eh. We've got infinite lives. There really is no imperative to worry about coins. A jump with key to... Oh, great. We got, we got one of these levels with a stupid checkerboard water. One second. Why linear? Does that look nasty yet? Uh, all right. Now, it's not flickering anymore, right? I guess we'll find out once the, um, once the screen scrolls up. Once we get, like, an entire screen full of checkerboard pattern. But it should be better now, hopefully. No, that's not working. Yeah, all right, cool. No more horrible flickering with my garbage capture card. It really does not like checkerboard patterns, I've noticed. Oh, okay. We are forced to take damage, kind of, right? What does that mean? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll beat this level, then I'll go back and have a, another look. Uh -huh. Oh, it's actually... Uh, I thought it was going to be another one of those portraits. Block. Which leads to P switch. Which should then, in theory, lead to going this way. Down we go. Chill underwater. What's left? Huh. How do we... You can't jump six tiles, right? I guess it's a, like, P-speed kind of situation. If I knew how to do P-speed... There we go, alright. So many one-ups. That's a level. All right, <clears throat> we'll go back. We'll try taking the key over the left, and maybe it's off screen. It could be above the screen. And key. And I guess that's the reason why this is here, right? Let me just make sure it's not off the top of the screen or something like that. So the big brain move is probably to go into the underground section, and maybe something becomes apparent. That that's that's probably a bit better. I guess if I do the section enough, I'll learn all the tricks. Okay, up. It might be in the roof. Yeah, I noticed there was a strange roof 
that I was like, eh, don't know what that's for. It's, uh, it's in this section, I think. There was, uh, yeah, up there. But, you know, we might just die. Oh, okay. There we go. I wasn't sure if I saw a ceiling in there. But, um, obviously I didn't. Um, the thing is, though, like, what do we do? Use oh, that was a weird overworld movement, didn't you think? One sec. Check this out. When I go down, Mario kind of teleports to the right. Yeah, look at that. Sort of weird. Anyway, there we go. That's a, that's a section. <clears throat> what do we have? Dare you delve deeper. I mean, <clears throat> I don't have to, but could be fun. Could be fun. We'll give it a try. Trying to figure out what this requires of me. Oh, just... Okay. Oh, that's a down one. Okay. I hear about these these moons. I've collected some. But I don't think I'm going out of my way for the moon right now. Okay, so hold jump. And hold right and run. Oh, right. It's one of those jumps. Understood. It's just a case of getting there a few times... There we go, all right. Probably P speed. All right, um, for it to function. Those uh, catnip cabins or something. Okay, so we've got to jump fast and turn, and then it's the womp. And I guess I go over the top, and we spin it again for reasons. Yeah, who would have thought? will run at me at some point. Okay. Okay. When will I play... Uh, never. I'm never going to play that. I, I browsed SMW Central today. And uh, there are some hacks that will never be played by me. I'm, a, I'm still a small boy. I don't think I'm good enough to play something um, that looks like that. Uh, old Garrison. Oh, I mean, maybe get him to put the overworlds in the in the thumbnails, and then I'll check it out. I did see that you had some involvement. I saw you credited uh, in that hack. Oh. Oh, okay. There's uh, there's something up there. Fantastic. So I technically didn't die. Uh, slide. And a big jump, I guess. old garrison looms ahead. It looks set to collapse at any second. Dare you reach the pinnacle and claim your reward? Alright. Uh, use the overall blame Sparky and Nathan for the levels. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's a hack that... If Nathan MG's got something to do with it, you know the levels are going to hurt. But I, uh, you know, it's it's too hard for me. I haven't even played Grand Poo World 2. You know. I, I would really like to be a good player, but... 
it's probably not going to happen. I'm trapped in the baby jail. So I wait here, so that works. All right, I think I died here last time. And I guess jump of faith to the right. Uh-huh, platforms, platforms. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I think my I was having some up press issues. Uh, then this one. And then there's something over here going on. Is it left? Do I go left? Do I go right? Oh, it's... You go up. You go up. Hey, remember when polyphonic ringtones were a cool new thing? <laughs> blip bloop. No more blip bloops on your Nokias. That's another way to... That we can touch on... Polyphony. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Um, I feel like I got most of the way through the through this section. Maybe. I definitely haven't seen the end yet. So th uh, Thwomp is there. Ball and chain is here. And then we've got to get on the little Sparkies. There was a thwomp here, that's right. I was salty about the thwomp. I wonder if there's a pipe on the other side as well. Oh, it's a look, it looks like a switch palace. A switch has hit, a garrison falls, a path is opened. There is an outlined box, which has possibly now been turned into a red block inscribed with an exclamation point. GG. So, the Moody Cave. Who made this game? <clears throat> look up, look up a couple messages. My man, Octavius Pepper PhD. It's our good friend, Tomato Phalanges. Hero of the Australian scene. Cloudy Meadows. Uh, Kaizo tip. Hey guys, it's time for a Kaizo tip. Get your notepads out. To get extra mileage from a sliding slope jump, don't hold right until you land at your destination. Cape tip. Oi, any aspiring capists? Press in the direction you're traveling to dive. Press backwards to bob. Deep dives mean deep bobs. Okay, these are good tips. I feel like there are going to be people that don't know about that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not saying I'm one of them, but I think it could have been very handy at some point in time. I see a vine. What does that mean? Can I jump over that far? I can. <gasps> Cape has been acquired. A hero? <laughs> not all heroes wear capes. I'm back here. All right. Was there some flat ground for me to just like get some some flight? Hey, it's cape time. Deep dives mean deep bobs. Oh, we need some speed. <laughs> I couldn't tell what my speed was. <laughs> deep dives mean deep bobs. We capin', we cape boys. Oh no, an enemy. <laughs> it's cape time. Who doesn't love a good cape? Okay, is cape turnaround patch on? It looks like it. It is. All right, cool. All right. Oh. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. 
Don't worry, we can fly. Up and then down and then up. Alright. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Careful, careful caping. I wonder what... This level's probably super hard. If you aren't, like, doing a bunch of dumb stuff, like slowing down heaps. Maybe... It looks like it's getting kind of... Kind of narrow in here, don't you think? If this gets any narrower, I think I'm going to have a, a problem. <laughs> oh, and we can't damage boost. It's um, it's fun to play with cape. It's not often you actually get a wide open space to play with cape. I spy a moon. You go under the level? Is that possible to do? Come on, come on. Go get the moon. Oh. Hey! If you're a Tass, it might be. Oh, these are the, um, the friendly munches that won't hurt you. That won't instantly kill you. Alright, there we go. The cape level. Pretty fun. I think I was... I think the section where it kind of gets narrower, I was too afraid of hitting the bottom one. No, I was too afraid of hitting the top ones. Because I'm not familiar with how much you kind of pull up. Um, so I just kept dying on the bottom ones. But that's alright. Uh, Netherworld. This looks like a ghost house? Question mark? <gasps> we know this song. It's that Celeste B-side. Kaizo tip. Blue coins on ledges in Kaizo usually indicate required spin jumps. Ah, I knew that. I'm acing this Kaizo exam. How far over? That comes all the way over. All right. And what does... Uh... Uh, I guess we just do a big jump. Maybe we don't just do a big jump. Can I get those? Ah, uh, we can get this guy to follow. All right. I mean, I could do the slow way on that guy, but why don't we get the we get our eerie friend to to come along for the ride? Here he is. All right. Precarious jumps. That isn't gonna work. Hey, who even says you need a P-switch? That's fine. Okay, eerie friend. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna come back to bite me somehow. I wonder if the P-switch is for something. Wait, hang on a sec. I'm gonna underscan the monitor. No, there's definitely no floor. All right, I just had to make sure. Just had to make sure that. I mean, I assume there's no floor here, probably, right? Uh, okay. Uh, a spin. We know what that means. We hold right. Alright, Disco Boy. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. I'll opt out of that one. Oh, left. Hey, you can go left to get a P-switch. I think this is the, lo the most of this song I've ever heard. I'm usually out of levels pretty quick. And I only play about two games in my life. Uh, oh. 
That's some out of the box thinking. Huh? Get it? But yeah, I've heard this song in, in Little Mario World in Woxic's Snakey Bus. Um, I've heard it in this hack. And I've heard it in uh, Super Solstice World as well. Where am I? Oh, oh, there's there's floor here. Okay. I'm so confused right now. But there we go. When I play stuff. Because it's Kaizo and they try sort of design it like to work one particular way, it's real obvious like this jump is way too big for a spin. I just had a jump that was like just too big for a spin, but obviously um, looked like maybe it could have been a spin. Uh, hang on, what now? Oh, this, okay. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, thought I was stranded there. So just, uh, I think it was, was it this jump here? Yeah, that one, that's a regular jump. I don't know why I tried to spin there. And there is a door. Thusly. All right. Uh, is this a side exit? Oh. Okay, a pipe. Hey, we found another uh, portrait. This one is of Cat Peach, but I'm sure it represents a particular person involved in the SMW scene. Two doors, but which? And I'm guessing that at some point we'll have to get back here. Mental note. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, it's Juz Love. Right, okay. There you go. Of all the people, I probably should have recognized that. Apparently this Juz fellow is a, a popular streamer. Oh, gotta get the question block. Uh, okay. What is, the, oh. Oh, it's a, it's a boo fight, guys. I just realized it's a boo fight. All right, let's try and learn from our mistakes. Uh, all right, the question block is just over here. Yep, that's, uh, that's bound to happen sometimes. We'll hang out here for a sec. Third block acquired. Just give it a kick. And there we go. Boo down. So, mental note. I have to come back here after we hit... A yellow switch because there's something near the clock. Netherworld, that's the name. Netherworld, yellow switch, connect the neurons. 